He's actually a fellow who he and his wife are in ministry. She's a senior pastor. Anyway, he testified this when I started working with him. He actually testified to the church. It's not a secret. He, he was very wanting people to know about this. This is a man who, from the time he was a little kid, had these addiction problems that we're talking about. He was a drug addict. He was an alcoholic. And he was allergic to drugs called benzodiazepines. And he said the more allergic he was, the more the doctors would prescribe it for him. He didn't even realize what a problem it was. He just got sicker and sicker. The doctors are going berserk. They're just more drugs, more drugs, and he's violently ill from this type of drug. He said he finally got to the point where he never left his bedroom for three years. He said he lives in his death room. His bedroom became what he calls his death room. He said, it's my depression room. But he felt so bad, he's making his wife do all this stuff. He cannot drive a car. He can't work, he can't do anything, he's in the death room. Being drugged out by his doctors. Finally, his wife went to one of the ministry events I did and she was having a medical issue and it got cured. And on the spot, she was really happy. She was in a horrible amount of pain, disappears. So she has her husband get on the phone with me and I listened for an hour to all of his medical issues, the death room, the depression room, all the stuff. And finally, I just say, look, let's pray for you. Let's get you healed. They're far away. You know, we're, this is a huge area. You could be from Salinas. You could be from here. They're a couple hours away from Palo Alto. That's no big deal in the Bay Area. So his wife drives him down and her down to the church that I'm preaching at that night, doing healing. He gets on the floor, saddest looking, miserable guy, and he's in the prayer, he takes in the prayer, he takes in the prayer. And at the end, he didn't look all that bad, but he's where he is, and they leave. Next week, there they are again. But there's a difference. He had driven down to the church, and he said, I've been healed by God. So he's, he's dancing for me. <laughs> This is the guy, he's out of the death room. He hasn't been able to walk in like years and he's dancing and he's singing and he's joyful and, and he, they're having picnics and he's driving and, and he said, look what's happening to me. Pray for him a few more times. I get these emails, he dances at making breakfast. No more death room. Oh, he's sending us jokes. Yeah, Ann and I will be in the car we get jokes from this guy. No more death room, no more. He sends us jokes. and. He's a really funny guy, and everything's going right with him now. He was—he lost a ton of weight, and he's dancing. It's just an example of what God can do.